this is another one of our flat bed sewing machine and it's by Juki. Right? So as you can see, um, it has a light and um, the presser foot is actually a Teflon presser foot so that we can do, uh, sew on leathers. So let's look at the machine itself. So on off switch is here to turn it on, right? And you want if you want to turn on the light, you just go at this little right, the light bulb, and that's on. To turn. And this is the knee leaf to lift up the presser foot, as well as to open up the tension base so that you can pull the thread. Okay. So let me show you the bobbin case. So this one opens up so that you can see. You can actually look for your bobbin. So this is your bobbin case with your bobbin thread, right? So you want to thread this through the case, pull it behind the lever and keep this opening facing up. Set the end. Right. The cover. So now you want to pull your bobbin thread up, right? So hold on to your top thread, pull the wheel towards you keep pulling until your thread, your bobbin thread comes up. So once it comes up, you can pull it out. Right? And that's it. So now what you want to do is to put your top thread between the two feet of the presser foot. And that's it. Right, so yeah, first thing first, kick the knee leaf. Right, to lift up the presser foot, lower the presser foot, hold on to your thread ends, lower the needle by pulling the wheel towards yourself again. Right, so as you pull, the needle will go down. So once it goes down, hold on to the, the thread ends, turn on your machine if it's not on, right, and then you start sewing. So if you go light, you will get one stitch. So if you go, so the machine um, uses a servo motor as well, so it you will be able to control the speed of your stitching. So if you find one stitch, then you tap lightly, and then if you and then you want to go faster, you can go faster. So for this machine, it has a reverse button. So as if once you press reverse, you hold on to it, and then you step on the pedal. Your stitching will go backwards. Okay, so once you let go of the lever, it will go forward. So once you're done stitching, you need to step on the bottom right corner and the needle pops up. So kick the knee lift and pull the thread to the back and then 